Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and if it's anything that YouTube should be, it's it should be a hobby, if anything, because if you treat YouTube as your job, if you treat YouTube as the thing you wake up to every day, you're going to have a pretty bad existence moving forward. I'm not saying that YouTube isn't the dream, it certainly is for a lot of people, and I'm glad that they get to live their dream, but when your dream is as unstable as a roller coaster that's tightened together with one screw, then uh, I, I gotta be real with you, you're, 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 you're dreaming, you're living on a prayer, son, and that's pretty much what happened yesterday now if you don't know we got to talk about something called shadow banning okay now this isn't some Yu-Gi-Oh card this isn't some shadow jutsu okay from Naruto or Boruto or whatever the heck it is now uh, this is actually a very very common term people use when they're using social media and it, it's kind of like a ban except I think the more accurate way of saying it is when the social media provider like YouTube Twitter Facebook uh, whatever other thing that you use you know for affinity they decide to take you out of the search out algorithms entirely and you're not banned like you can still access your account but your reach has been severely limited okay you basically you've been reduced from talking to the outside world to an extent now PewDiePie is the biggest content creator on this website uh, I don't think anybody can argue that I mean I know that T-Series is pretty big but let's be real T-Series is not the base network that anybody expects PewDiePie is still undisputedly the largest creator on the platform boasting over 100 million subscribers that dude is dominating that being said, fully understanding something, being your biggest creator, he was actually technically shadow banned yesterday. Now, I woke up and it was around 2 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time that if you type PewDiePie into the search engine, YouTube would basically say, what? Who? PewDie what? Wh what? <laughs> and basically, if you tried finding his channel, you couldn't. You could find some of his videos and basically work your way to him. He uploaded a video around that time and it did it really fucking bad for PewDiePie. I mean, don't get me wrong. 50,000 views in an hour is great for some people, but for PewDiePie's channel, he, he didn't do so well yesterday. Things tanked. But within like an hour to two hours, things sort of cooled, healed, and PewDiePie got back into the search algorithms and whatnot, right? So it clearly wasn't really a shadow ban. You want to know why it wasn't an intentional shadow ban from YouTube and why they weren't getting rid of PewDiePie? Is because if, if memory serves, a couple months ago, PewDiePie signed exclusively with YouTube Gaming to live stream on the platform. YouTube does not pay out millions of dollars again i don't know the actual value but it's definitely in the millions to tens of millions of dollars range youtube doesn't hand out a paycheck like that and then decide to say wow we should stifle the creator that we're paying this much money to they also sign a bunch of other creators but remember okay pewdiepie didn't get into any weird controversy ever since then uh, in fact he hasn't gotten into any controversy at all lately so of course they have no reason to shadow ban the person but these shadow bans technically exist I have a story myself when you made the trafficking hub video a while back which after the Metal Gear Solid video is one of my favorite videos I have ever made on this platform it did poorly and I'll tell you why it did poorly it didn't do poorly because uh, you know people weren't interested in the topic it was a very trending topic at the time and quite honestly my video is the most view viewed video on that subject even so more than the initial thing from the from the organization that pushed it. However, it was severely limited because when I released it, magically within an hour, two, three hours, it wasn't showing up on the search algorithms at all. Okay, like without without knowing why, YouTube basically, I wouldn't say they, they, they manually did it, but for some reason that video wouldn't show up for a couple hours. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be sent out to sub boxes. There were a lot of people on that video way weeks after that said, wow, I finally got notified of a video, Mudahar. And I don't know why, I think because of the sensitive nature of something called Trafficking Hub, YouTube may have decided to suppress it, you know, through the artificial intelligence. Maybe it wasn't PC enough, I guess. But with all of that said, it was a very, very weird situation. Now you can find it in the algorithm, but when it came out, it did very poorly on the platform. And that's what severely killed that video's traction. This stuff happens. And what we saw yesterday is very empirical evidence that shadow banning is a fucking thing even if it's not intentional unintentionally it can kill someone's channel remember pewdiepie might be the biggest creator and that's why he's probably never going to get affected but there are people on this platform whose livelihood depends on being in the favor of the algorithm when you're not a large large creator when you're like moderately large you need to be in the algorithm being in the algorithm and not being in the algorithm is basically life and death okay it basically means you pay rent one month or you don't pay rent the other month okay that's pretty much the reality of like living within the algorithm on this platform and it's a very very real reality for people who 
who, who are again beholden to it. Now, yesterday, I want to say that YouTube kind of did a little bit of a contradictiony contradictioniness to it, which uh, I guess we'll, 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 we'll cover real quick. Uh, YouTube, coincidentally, when they were asked, YouTube doesn't shadow ban channels. It's possible the video was flagged by our systems as potentially violative and needs to be reviewed first before it shows up in search, etc. Note that reviews are taking longer since we have limited teams due to COVID-19. But with this said, it kind of proves that maybe they're not intentionally doing it, but whatever you type into your search, whatever you type into your video's metadata will throw you into another check on your account and will decide to shadow ban videos based on how again violative they actually are or they aren't it's 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 kind of like saying yes but no in a way and then there's also another beautiful like thing youtube gaming which is of course the same company but a different branch of the company we are hearing reports that pewdiepie's channel and some videos are not surfacing within searches we are currently working on fixing the issue we are sorry for any inconvenience this has caused it's like a fucking like weird response it's like now they're saying well Sometimes the AI decides to boot videos and channels out based on violative, violative content. And the other one is like, oh shit, there might be a bug. Bro, you might as well rename the site Viridian fucking Forest if we're catching this many bugs, goddammit. <laughs> but you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Yesterday was a day where everyone kind of like speculated that, oh wow, PewDiePie, well, must have done something wrong getting shadow banned. Listen, shadow bans are a thing, but I'm going to be completely fucking real with you guys right now, 100%. I feel like anytime something like this happens, it's always like, let's throw the whole YouTube thing under the bus. Let's come up with these crazy crackpot conspiracy theories. The unfortunate problem is, guys, this is run by artificial intelligence for the most part. There's like literally no, it almost feels like there's literally no human review on the site whatsoever. Even when it feels like you get a human review on this website, it doesn't feel like it. Like for instance, I uploaded a video recently with me and my dad, right? Well, my dad basically failing to buy us some games because, you know, he had those super savant powers of buying the complete opposite. You know, YouTube manually reviewed that video and then demonetized it. And I, I swear they said it had like extreme profanity, like N words, you know, F word slurs, you know, we're talking C word slurs, everything under the book. I have watched that video numerous times and I don't think I found myself saying the N word once. If you can find me saying the N-word in that video once, I'll give you $1,000, okay? 100%. Uh, you know, because I couldn't find it. If somebody could magically find it like the human reviewer at YouTube could, let me know. But it, it's at a situation where the site is so run by artificial intelligence and algorithms that you tend to run into a situation where you can have your entire livelihood crippled in any day. And it's why it harkens me back to the video where I said, this will never be my job because I love making YouTube content. I think I would stop love me. I would stop loving making YouTube content if this has started happening to me. Because if I depended on this as my job, I don't think I could be as free and as like, uh, you know, I, I don't think I could make the content I make today. Okay. I don't think, I don't think I could get away with some of the content that I do. And I'm not saying that I do like anything, you know, out there. I feel like there's content that I know will not perform very well on my channel, but I'll choose to make it anyways, because I want to, it's, it's the perks of not relying on this. And it's the perks of not being beholden to the algorithm, but for the people that rely on it, getting shadow banned fucking kills your channel, dog. <laughs> I'll be real with you. PewDiePie got hit the hardest. But everything is resolved, and I'm sure a lot of this was just some fucking bug in the background, which, like I'm about to say, needs to be squashed out before anything happens. I feel like this is one of those moments where the algorithm is changing once again, and you're going to start to see a shift in how channels perform or how they don't perform. That being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it. If you dislike it, I am.